Top 10, Special Investigation Unit Investigator Interview Questions and Answers. Special Investigation Unit Investigator is a job position in which you are responsible for detecting and also addressing all insurance frauds and other suspicious activities. For example, if you are in an insurance company, you can investigate claims to make sure there is no fraud. If you appear in a Special Investigation Unit Investigator job interview, you will be asked certain questions. You must be able to answer those questions in the best possible manner, and hence the following tips along with the sample answers can help you get through the interview successfully. 1. Why are you interested in being a Special Investigation Unit Investigator? Answer. I have always felt that I am too much interested in minute details, and since childhood, it was easier for me to find out the hidden clues in games and keep little details in my attention span. When I grew up, I realized that this major department of Special Investigation Unit Investigator could be the space where I can polish my skills and be better in this role. Due to my skills, I have found myself to be good enough in this role, and just as in my previous job, I can do well in this one as well. For me, this career has been very exciting and rewarding. 2. What are the roles of a Special Investigation Unit Investigator? Answer. A Special Investigation Unit Investigator is responsible for seeking and collecting evidence for any wrongdoings, such as theft and fraud. They are responsible for checking the records, interviewing subjects, conducting surveillance, researching relevant topics, and also monitoring an organization to look for signs of trouble. A Special Investigation Unit Investigator investigates insurance fraud. Many organizations can also employ people who investigate insurance fraud. 3. What are the qualities that a Special Investigation Unit Investigator should possess to be effective? Answer. Being a Special Investigation Unit Investigator, one must have the following skills. Surveillance skills, research skills, interviewing skills, critical thinking skills, communication skills. Being in this role, one must also be able to have a few skills in his personality. These include having control over one's emotions, communication skills, honesty and ethics, knowledge about the law, and problem-solving skills. 4. What kind of strategies and mindset is required for this role? Explain with example. Answer. I believe that a special investigation unit investigator must be present-minded and possess problem-solving techniques. Being a special investigation unit investigator, one has to address and detect insurance fraud and most other suspicious activities. Being in SIU, one must be able to focus on the screening potential of employees and of other outside actors before they take part in your organization. Or you must have the investigative responsibilities linked to the employee or the management boards. The specific mindset must be to investigate claims to make sure there is no fraud. 5. What is the biggest challenge that you foresee in this job? Answer. With the growing set of threats that keep creeping in the private investigation, every individual must stay knowledgeable about the profession and the challenges they face to improve themselves and their industry. The private investigators prefer being called a profession instead of an industry, and others believe that investigation is in both the profession and industry. 6. How do you react when the results of a case are discouraging? Answer. It's normal to find setbacks and disappointments in our life. How we react to such situations is what makes us different from the rest. In situations where things don't turn the way, I expected are times when I used my skills of problem solving and handling issues. I used to think of things more differently and tried getting out solutions from a different perspective. I derived things out and tried finding the positive aspects of setbacks. 7. What systems did you develop to eliminate or reduce errors in the work you do? Answer. I believe that there are many situations where things don't get in control and one has to deal with certain techniques that will derive the best results. To get rid of the errors and issues, I work hard on the homework I have. I gather all the evidence and resources I may contact. One can fall into the trap of having errors in many ways, but I cannot let any confusion or pitfalls stay in the system by being attentive to detail. 
8. What do you expect during an SIU investigation? Answer. Once the claim is in our hands, I expect the investigation process to become even more thorough. I interview in the oath in front of the court reporter, and then I meet the medical investigators, go through extensive background checks, and get all the steps recorded. The SIU investigation process is very extensive and follows each lead as long as they get to the bottom of the case. 9. What is an off-duty officer? Answer, the SIU is responsible for investigating incidents that happen when officials are on duty. However, they can also investigate incidents being off-duty if engaged in investigations, detention, pursuit, or an arrest of a person who exercised the powers of a police officer. The incident involved property or equipment issued to officials in relation to his duties. 10. Is there a limitation in time to when incidents may be reported to SIU? Answer. There is no limitation on time. Incidents may be reported to SIU days, weeks, months, and even years after they occur. The SIU undertakes certain investigations of historical complaints in the police departments. The later an incident is reported, the harder it gets to uncover the witness and physical evidence relevant to the complaint.